Hey guys, welcome back to my channel in my tutorials. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to count the number of rows for a particular category or how to sum the values for a particular category. For example, I have the sample data set over here with the uh, order IDs. This is basically the sales data. Let's say I want to count the number of orders that I have received in the segment consumer and also another with another condition if uh, in, in consumer segment and with another condition of how many of them were from category office supplies, right? Likewise, I would also, after counting the number of orders that we received, I also want to count the total sales amount for those orders. So this is what I'm going to be teaching you today. So let's get started with this tutorial. So I'm going to go here into my orders table and create a new measure. So I'm going to call this measure as number of orders and uh, let me also mention the uh, segment and category over here. The segment is going to be consumer and the category is going to be furniture. Okay, let's do this for now and then I'm going to begin with calculate function and first let us find the, we're finding the number of orders. So we'll use the count function over here and count the number of order IDs. Okay, I'm counting the number of order IDs, comma. And then, now this is where we need to enter our filter criteria. So I'm gonna type in filter, and now it's asking us to enter the table name, which is orders here in my case, comma. The filter expression is going to be the column name of where we want to apply the filters, for example, uh, my column name is segment and then my segment needs to be what consumer consumer is my segment okay consumer comma okay let's first find out for consumer and then I'm going to close the bracket over here then close the bracket again to close the entire statement the calculate statement and then press enter so once this is created let us quickly bring this into a card value over here Okay, so now it's telling us that the total number of orders for uh, consumers are 1465. Let's quickly create a table over here to bring in the values uh, segment and category and let us bring in the order IDs count. Okay, I'm going to bring in the count of order IDs. This is just to verify if the numbers that we are getting, if that is correct. And there's a filter that is applied over here. I'm going to get rid of that. Okay, and now you will see that the total um, orders for consumer are, are these three together, which is around. Uh, let me just put in a filter over here and select only, um, sorry, select this and go to segment and choose only consumer. So this is 6859, that is what we have over here. Now the next step for us is to add another condition to this particular uh, measure over here to include the category furniture. So to do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come within the filter uh, statement over here and type in and two times. This basically says that this is another filter statement that I'm trying to add into this particular criteria over here. So now I'm going to type in a category, okay, is equals to furniture. furniture instead of single quote I need to enter this in double quote okay so now basically we are saying that you need to count the number of order IDs and then filter by segment consumer and make sure that you type this and twice over here and then category is equals to furniture now what I'll give you a tip over here what in case that if you wanted to use an or statement you can simply use value over here so, uh, like this this is just above the enter uh, uh, button on your uh, windows keyboard and then you can press enter this will give you an or condition okay if it is either consumer or furniture but if you want this to be and then you need to do this and you need to enter double and and then press enter. You will see the number of orders for furniture and consumer category is 1465. Exactly what we have over here. Okay. 
Now let us copy the entire formula over here or the measure over here and then create a new one and call this measure as uh, instead of number of orders we're going to call this as sales consumer furniture and then instead of count here I'm going to type in sum because that's what we want to sum and not the orders ID but the sales amount itself okay and then I'm going to press enter over here let's bring this into a new card over here and change this to card okay and now let's also add in the sales value to this particular table so as you can see here the sales amount for consumer furniture is 501k which is exactly what is what you have over here okay so this is how you can count and sum the uh, rows and the columns based on the criteria you can enter this one criteria or multiple criteria. That's it guys in this particular tutorial I hope you found this video helpful you've learned something new today please consider subscribing to my channel for more such tutorials.